totally get it. Compressing images for the web is a nerve-wracking job. I mean, let's be honest. How much can you really optimize your images without losing quality? As you're here, I guess you created some pixelated art in the past too, or are wondering why your images suddenly look so different after compressing them or trusting a highly rated compression plugin. In this video, I will show you how I prep my images to reduce the file size by a lot before I even touch a compression tool. Then I will reveal the compression tool I trust for years now. It's as easy as track, drop and you're done. You will get stellar quality images with a tiny file size so your coaching clients won't jump ship before they even reach your page. Because we all know how important it is that your website loads at lightning speed to keep your visitors around. <gasps> oh, what's that? Tick tock, tick tock. Jeez, I don't have time for this. Psst, make sure to stay until the end as I will share a resource to check the loading speed of your website. Before we dive in, please subscribe to my channel where I'll demystify digital marketing and share the best marketing strategies to grow your coaching business online. And don't forget to hit the bell so you don't miss a thing. So let's talk about the prepping process first, which unfortunately most people miss completely. Think about how you want to use your image as a background image in full width or as a teaser image for your blog on the overview page. Because depending on your usage, you need a bigger or a smaller image from a dimension perspective. And that's where we start when working towards a tiny file size. We adjust the dimensions of our image. If you're on a Mac, you can do this with a preview app or the app that I use for all my photo editing is Affinity Photo, a great app, by the way, available for Windows and Mac which actually can do most of the stuff that Photoshop is doing just without the price tag. I'm curious, what tools do you use to edit your images right now? Let me know in the comments below. So let's get to work. I have an image here which happens to be the thumbnail of my last YouTube video where I'll talk about how you can spy on your competitors' Facebook ads. If you haven't watched it yet, put it on your must-have watch list. Now this image here is 5616 pixels width and 3744 pixels in height. It has a file size of 17.2 megabyte. As I want to embed this image on my website in full width, I will change the dimensions to 1920 pixels in width. Then I will let the system do the rest of the math and click OK. Voila, you just decreased the size of your file size from 17.2 megabyte to 2.3 or 2.5 megabyte, depending on which app you used by just doing a little bit of prep work. Now, let's assume you want to use the image as a teaser on your website. What I do is think how much percentage would the image take on my page compared to the full width image. So maybe it's one fourth. What I do then is divide 1920 divided by four equals 480 pixels width. And I go with that for the teaser image. Easy, isn't it? Let's compress this baby without losing quality. I love image of dim for this with and this is important, goodly enabled. I can play around with the other settings here, but I do love mine because they provide a good balance between compression and quality. Image Optim is free for Mac and you can use the link on this page here or find the link in the description below this video. So let's take our JPEG, make a copy of it, drag it over, drop it and wait and wait and wait. Depending on the file size and due to the fact that Goodsly is enabled, it will take a little bit of time, but it's worth the wait. Ta-da! And ready! Here is our compressed file. We decreased the file size from 2.3 megabyte to 424 kilobytes. Pretty amazing, isn't it? I'm impressed by the file size, but what about the image quality? Let's have a look and compare. And let's zoom in a little bit. The original image is here and the compressed one here. I personally can't see a difference, truth to be told. Let's see what it would look like on a website. I put this image on a blank page here in WordPress. This page has the original find embedded on it with no prepping and no compression. This is the prepped one where we adjusted the dimension. And here I have the prepped and compressed image embedded. 
all three of them look pretty much the same. No pixelated areas, no shocking differences in colors. This one looks a little bit less crisp one, at least on my MacBook Pro display here, but I can live with that, especially considering the small file size. So for me, thumbs up. Let's see what difference the file size makes when it comes to loading speed. I use Google's PageSpeed's insights here. Now, let's look at it. Loading speed of the prepped image, remember no compression, 66 points out of 100. And the loading speed of the prepped and compressed image, 70 points out of the 100. Now, maybe this doesn't sound too much of a difference to you, but remember, I put only one image on this page. Most likely you will have more than one image on your page, so it will add up quickly. And your clients won't certainly be happy browsers, especially the ones using their mobile phones. If if you don't do the work and prep and compress your images properly. Now you have all the knowledge and tools at your fingertips to prep and compress your images for web without losing your good looks, your sanity or your savings. What do you think of this process and the tool I share to compress your images? Let me know in the comments below. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel and share this video with your friends, peers, VAs or web design team. And if I went too fast, check out the description section below this video where I listed all the tools mentioned in this video. I love to have you inside my free League of Brilliant Coaches community where I share marketing strategies to get you more coaching clients. Just head to the description below this video where you can find the link. And as I love having you around, please check out my other videos here on YouTube. They're all about how you can grow your coaching business online with ease and grace. Bye for now and I'll see you in the next one.